Welcome back guys to what promises to be a great episode because we are going to tackle the bane of any colony builder's life which is the hideous diseases that build up in your water supply. Uh, we are going, to, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those completely. And this is early game. Now later, when we get into the kind of the mid game, where we get plastics, we're going to be able to automate this. For now it's going to be a slightly manual process, but the main thing is we're going to have a clean, pure water supply. It's going to be epic. If you haven't already, go and check out the link in the video description. Uh, you can get 33% off oxygen not included. If you follow that link, also it'll tell you uh, what's um, all about the new release, what's happening, what's coming up. So uh, go and check it out. All the information you could ever want on oxygen not included in that link in the video description. Have I said it enough? All right, let's go. Let's get on with this. So first things first, I've set up some research. There are two things that we're going to need to make this work. Uh, we need to go down to liquids. Right, the first thing, we need distillation because we're going to need the water sieve. This produces clean water from polluted water. And you might think, well, well, that, well that's it. It's, it's clean water. No, no. <laughs> it, will, it will turn it blue, but it's still going to be loaded up with germs. We're going to have to kill the germs manually. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm digging down here, by the way, just because we're a little bit light on oxygen. So... Down here, we've got some uh, some oxalite and there's some oxygen down here. I might, you know what, am I going to, yeah, I'm going to throw in, I'm going to go crazy. And I'm going to throw in an extra oxygen diffuser up here. What the hell? Because it's all going so well. So power and a wire and run that up there. Okay. I've given them uh, all this digging work down here so that I can get on up here and, and do some stuff. Let's let them get on with that. Okay. Um, I've decided, instead of doing it down here, like always, I've changed my mind and gone, eh, no, actually I'm going to do it up here. Because it's going to be more efficient doing it up here. Because, like, if, if I put all the dirty stuff in one place, then I'm only going to need these two wash basins instead of four. Which is just going to make life so much easier. So, how am I going to do this? Good question. Um, we're going to start off with... Um, I'm going to put in a little basin here. And this is where the polluted water is going to be. So I'm going to put in plumbing, a bottle emptier. I'm going to have a bottle emptier. Um, I'm going to have the bottle emptier there. I th yeah, I'm going to have the bottle emptier there. Yes, I'm going to have the bottle emptier there. I'm going to have a ladder going down there. I'm going to have a liquid pump there. Good. So that's going to mean... I'm going to need a tile. Let's put an airflow tile in there. We'll put a mesh tile in there so that the water can just flow straight through. All right, that's looking good. I'm going to want a ladder down there. Okay. How's my research coming along? Oh, we're, we just need nine more advanced research. Eight more. Come on, get it done so that I can put this in. Uh, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to be using chlorine gas. This is going to be our disinfectant room. So um, I'm going to need, not plumbing, ventilation. Up here, I'm going to need a gas pump, which I'm going to put there will do. Oh, research is complete. Hooray. Now I can queue up the second bit of research. The second bit of research, now that we've got distillation, we've got the water sieve, I need the liquid reservoir. Oh, yeah. So improved plumbing. Off we go. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing, apparently. I'm going to allow Honkelbrief in here. Should be safe. And I'm going to get rid of these tiles. Now, just be careful when you get close to slime biomes. Uh, don't dig into this slime unless you've got a way to deal with the slime lung. Right? We'll, we'll cover that in future episodes. You know what? Um, we could bring in a new... Gee, let's have a look. Oh, strength and excavation. Medicine, strength, athletics, construction and strength. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But strength and excavation, I like even better. Oh, and mole hands. He eats a lot, but you know what? We've got loads of food. So not really a problem. Oh, you know what? I'm going to bring him in. I'm going to bring him in. And this, who's this going to be? Oh, this is going to be Noel. Noel really wanted to be in the game. So Noel, boom, print, you're in. Hooray. And uh, let's check out Knowles. We've got one to spend. I guess we're going to do improved carrying. Yep, we're going to do improved carrying. So, boom. And we'll give you a hat. 
Uh, improved carrying. There we go. All right. That's going to mean I'm going to need an extra bedroom. I, I can give him. I can give him a couple of doors so that he's actually got a room. Poor fella. No, they'll get. I, they'll get to that at some point, I guess. Um, I might even probably let's prioritise it so that they can get to the poor old Noel. Going to be sleeping on the floor tonight, otherwise. How are we doing over here? Oh, okay. We've dug into here. That's good. Um, let's take those two tiles out so they can actually get up there. And we dig those two out. That's good. And if I take that one out as well, then it's a slightly easier climb to get up there. All right. That works. Good, good. And there you go. Now you can get a Go on, Hogglebriff. Hooray. He loves it. He loves a good dig. Hold your breath. Come on, get it finished. Yes. He loves it. He loves his digging. And what we're going to have here is uh, we're going to be powering everything from here. And I'm going to empower this whole enormous project with one hamster wheel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to love this. I promise you. You're going to love this. Okay, all the research is complete. Over here, we're going to put in the first bit of what we need. And now this is in refinement. And this is the water sieve. The water sieve will convert uh, polluted water into clean water. So that's going to go in there. Yep. Yep, cool. That works. And then down here, I'm going to need to put in a water airlock. I'm going to take out those three. That'll be the first tile of my airlock so there'll be one two three four five with that there yep and then i'm going to want to dig those out i'm going to want a ladder coming down here like that so i'm going to need to dig out a couple of tiles there in fact um so i just yeah i suppose i should just seal that off shouldn't i and if i seal that off and then dig all that out that works. Now we're going to be putting we're going to be putting water in here, so I'm going to need a couple of bottle emptiers. One there. Flip it around. Flippity flip. Pop you in there. Okay, that's that done. You know what? I'm going to let Noel in there as well, and I'm going to let Noel in there as well. No reason he shouldn't help with this. Noel get his, help to get his skill. Here he comes. Good job, Noel. Well done. Well done. Yeah, get those skills going. All right, so um, in here, this is going to be our disinfectant room. So we're going to take the, uh, the the cleaned water, but still germy water, and we're going to feed it into here, and I'm going to put it into a liquid reservoir, which I'm going to put there. And I don't really need to do this, but I'm going to do it just as a, a kind of a backup. I'm going to put a second one in. So it's going to go into here, it's going to be purified, then I'm going to put it into there, just double check that it's okay, and then it's going to be put out down here as, as pure, clean, germ-free water. And it's going to be awesome. Right, well, a um, couple of things that we're going to need. Now, if I go to plumbing, I'm going to need a couple of liquid valves so I can control the flow. I'm going to put one, let's see, it's going to come out there. Uh, I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to put one, I'm going to rotate this one around that way. And you can go there. Now, you might be you might be thinking, well, why don't you just put that this one like that and just, you know, put it into this tank, clean it, and then just move it to the next tank and then let it go. The problem is, if I just hooked this up to a valve, what would happen is the, the, the dirty germy water would come into here and there would be a tiny bit of it in the pipe between the liquid reservoir and the liquid valve that would not get cleaned by the chlorine. If it's in a pipe, it won't get cleaned. So we actually need this to circulate for a while until the all the germs have been killed. So the way I'm gonna do that is with plumbing, uh, is with a liquid filter. Now this does make this a little bit power hungry, but, uh, but I can't find a, a, another way to do it really. So it is what it is. So we'll pop that in there. I did try without that and I, I ran into this problem and it was like, I couldn't find another way around this. And if anybody comes up with a better solution than this, then my God, let me know. But this does work and it's um, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple to build. So 
So yeah, I, th I, I, I think it's got some. I think it's got some virtue. Let's go into here, and we'll take a liquid pipe. So, we are going to be taking um, dirty, filthy water out of there and running it into there. Then we'll take it out of there and run it. Now, nah, how do I want to do this? We'll run it across there, down there, and then it goes into this reservoir. Then from this reservoir, it'll come out and go into the filter. If um, if it doesn't pass the filter check, then it'll go into there. If it does, it'll go into uh, that valve. It's the wrong way round, isn't it? Yeah, that valve's the wrong way round. I want that the other way up. Cancel. Do that again. And yeah, get the valve. Where is it? Liquid valve. This needs to go in that way. Yes. All right, cool. Keep going, guys. Uh, not insulated pipe. Don't need an insulated pipe. That's going to go into there. And then it's going to come out of there and go into there. And then it's going to come out of there, go into this valve. And then when it comes out of this valve, it's going to be beautiful, pure, clear, crystal, tasty Evian water. <laughs> or Perrier. I suppose I've got to name them all now. To, like, I should have got one of them to sponsor me. Um, all right, let's put that in there. Okay, that's it. That's it. Right, okay, so that's all of the, the plumbing stuff. Now, we've got to do the gases and the power. All right, so how, how are the gases going to work? Well, I'm going to put in a pump, uh, a gas pump, in this top corner here. Uh, assuming that I haven't got any carbon dioxide, di dioxide in here, which really there should be. There might be a tiny bit, but there shouldn't really be any carbon dioxide in here. Um, chlorine will be the heaviest gas, so I'm going to put the gas pump in there, and we're just going to create a vacuum in here, basically. Uh, so the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to put in uh, a gas filter, which is going to go there, and then I'm going to take a gas pipe. So we'll be picking up the gases, putting them in here. Anything that is um, filtered, which is going to be chlorine, is going to go over to there and it's going to be vented back into this room uh, you know um, I'm kind of tempted to put it like, right over there because it will help to push you know what, I'm gonna, I am gonna I'm gonna put it right over there let's cancel that it'll uh, it'll help to just push everything over in this direction so what do I want I want ventilation gas pipe put that up um, anything else anything that isn't chlorine is gonna get thrown out and just vented over here Cool. So what do I want? Uh, should have got rid of that. Gas vent there. Okay, so that's that. But we also have to get chlorine into this room. So once we've vacuumed it, then I'm going to be bringing in chlorine gas from up here. Uh, how do I want to get across there? There's no elegant way to cross these kind of these kind of things. So I think. You know what, I'll just go up there and yeah, there's, there, there's no elegant way to do that. But you know what, this is temporary anyway, so I shouldn't really worry about how it looks. All right, they are getting this done. They're cranking it out. Okay, so now, power. Let's talk power. I am going to want uh, a couple of switches for this, I think. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna have to put a switch there and a switch there, I think. Yeah. Okay. So let's run our first cable. Because the reason that this is all going to run off a single hamster wheel is because it, we're going to do it in stages. So the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to vacuum this room. So that's just going to be uh, these two running, which are in total 360 watts. So that's fine. And then we're going to be um, bringing the chlorine gas in. Well, that's just going to be 240. So that's fine. And then... All of that will be turned off, and we'll just be running this pump, this uh, uh, water sieve, and this filter, this gas, uh, this liquid filter down here. So we'll run it through this switch, and then we'll go. Oh, I'm gonna have to go up through. Uh, now nah, I'm gonna have to be careful there. You know what? This is temporary. This is temporary, so don't worry about it. Yeah. If I, I'll just follow the 
just follow the pipe, it'll be fine. Uh, and into there. Okay, so that's going to be our first circuit. Uh, our second circuit, into that switch, all around the back, and then down here. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that works. That's going to work. But I'm not going to hook it up to that right now. I'm just going to hook it up to uh, that and that. So, in this, so if I turn that on, this will start pumping. And if I turn that one on, then this will start pumping. Good. And then afterwards, I can disconnect this, hook that up, and... Uh, oh, and then run this cable down to hook these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to work. It's going to work. Hooray. <laughs> Trust me. A lot of, lot of rejoicing about the fact that it's going to work. Oh, now what the hell's happening here? Oh, this, is, this has got turned on. Okay, that's not actually good news. Um, that's actually bad news. I'm going to have to do this very quickly. Uh, deconstruct that tile. We're going to have to get water in this airlock. ASOP, so water and uh, water. Let's make that priority seven, priority seven, and go. And this needs to be like, yeah, it's priority nine already. Oh no, no, I'm wasting, I'm wasting lovely chlorine, which is a damn shame. I don't, I mean, to be honest, I, I'm not really bothered about having the chlorine like floating around the base or whatever. I just don't want to waste it because it's kind of precious. Oh, that's that's seriously annoying. I should, and I'm still pumping it. Why don't I turn the darn thing off? Turn it off. Priority nine. All my switches. I want to be priority nine because I want them to do it as soon as. Uh, that's going to be priority nine. That should be turned off. That's going to be priority nine, and turned off. And of course, they go to bed. I'm losing all my chlorine. No. Oh, that is so frustrating. All my lovely chlorine going to waste. Okay, finally they've turned it off. I should turn this one off as well. Turn that off. Just in case. Don't want any accidents. Okay. Right, that it needs to be set to chlorine. And I need to put a tile in to block off this room. Oh, how much chlorine have I wasted? Oh, that is, that is killer. It really is. Are you guys going to bring in it? Um, okay, I tell you what I need to do. I need to en enable auto bottling. Enabling auto bottling will allow them to, to bottle here and bring it over here. Okay, so we're setting up our water, our water lock. Let's see. We're going to need this bottom tile to be full. So we'll need a thousand kilograms in there. And then we'll need some extra to make sure that we've got this nice seal. So I'll probably get it up to, like, in total, like, I don't know, 14, 15, 1600 kilograms of water. We're up to 800. There we go. And... Okay, so that's going to get me... That's going to get this tile full. Yep, that's full. Uh, this is like 66 kilograms. This, this one we can't see. This is 100. Yeah, probably like one more, one more bottle, maybe two. Why do you need to eat and sleep and stuff? Why don't you just do some blooming work? Slackers. <laughs> Look at poor Noel. Nobby no mates. <laughs> He's put in the isolation cell. Yeah, you can't hang out with us. You're not one of the cool kids. He will be, though. He'll get, he'll get a posh bedroom eventually. Let's mop up down here. Uh, I'm going to do this. Do I want everybody doing it? I probably don't. So I might, I might do this a little bit at a time. I just need to be careful that we don't get too many people carrying horrible liquids up here. Because... They'll be spreading germs all over the place. So we want polluted water brought up here. I'll make it priority six. Okay. 
Let's let's cancel that and let you actually move that. So if we if we take a look at the, the germs, you'll see that walking around in this doesn't get you dirty. It's only carrying polluted objects. See? As soon as he carries one of these, uh, I need to <laughs> turn that one off. We don't need that one anymore. It needs to go up here. All right. Let's get you disinfected. Good. Let's keep an eye and make sure that they're not doing anything terrible. We've got some. We've got some germs in here, but that's okay. We've got a muck root. That's. Uh, we've got. In fact, we've got a couple of muck roots. But that's okay. So somebody's going to get some food poisoning at some point, but it won't be a big deal. Look at this. We're, we're already up to 233. Um, I think at this point I'm going to cut back on the amount of food that we're making. So I'm going to say uproot, uproot. Uh, you know, if I, if I do a dig command, there we go. And the, I'll do the same on this. Let's take six off each end. And it'll just save us... Save us a bit of time. A bit less, a bit less farming that needs to be done. There we go. Good. Okay, that's all the polluted water, all the filthy, mucky water moved up here. And look at this: six hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, six hundred thousand. That's a lot of germs that we've got to get rid of, but it's going to be fine. All right. So, how are we looking in here? Not, not fantastic. How much chlorine have we got left? Uh, we've got chlorine, carbon dioxide, oxygen. It's a bit of a mess up there now. But hey, well, it is what it is. I'm going to have to live with it. So what I'll do now is disconnect that. So let's go to the power over. So I'm going to disconnect that circuit. I'm going to keep it there uh, in case I want to use it for something else. But we'll deconstruct that. And then we'll run... A wire. Come on, somebody do, come, somebody do this. Oh, are you all going to eat again? No, you're not. Oh, yeah, they are. Like, every time I ask them to do something, they go to bed. Stop going to bed, damn it. <laughs> you irritated little jeeps. Okay, well, let's see. How am I going to... Uh, how was I going to do this? Um, oh, I want to run that for a while. So, okay. If I... If I just turn that on... Then this should start running. And what we should do is is get out the oxygen and the chlorine. Uh, sorry, the, get out the oxygen and the carbon dioxide and just be left with chlorine in here. That's the general idea. So, here we go. And we're running. Let's have a look. No, that's water. There we go. So, yep. What's that? That's carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide should be black. That looks like dark green. Okay, so the oxygen and the carbon dioxide are getting thrown out. The chlorine is staying in the room. It's not... It's not fantastic chlorine pressure. Because I've wasted so much of it down here. Oh. Okay, well... What I could do to get to grab some of this... Is, um, is just put a pump down here and pump it back in. Uh, I've got to say, I'm kind of tempted to do that. Uh, let's get a manual generator. Put a manual generator down there. And we'll grab... Uh, what do I want? I want a gas pump that I'll put, I guess, over there. And then I can pump this uh, up here. And just throw it into there, it'll be fine. I get now you know what I suppose I could actually filter this. So that I'm just pumping the chlorine in there. I you know what, I suppose that makes a hell of a lot of sense, doesn't it? What well, it's working! We are getting some of this chlorine back in here. Which is good news. Because the more chlorine we've got in here, the better. Okay. Uh, this looks like we've got rid of everything but the chlorine. I haven't seen anything else coming out of here for quite a while. Let's have a look. Chlorine, 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 chlorine. 
Yeah, it's all chlorine in here. So we can actually turn these uh, turn these off now. So how am I going to do that? Uh, probably the easiest way, because uh, I shouldn't need to run this again. So it should just be a case of deconstruct. Um, deconstruct one of these wires. Now I'm going to want to go into there. So if I deconstruct that one, that will work. Yeah, awesome. So we'll prioritise that. And of course, <laughs> again, as soon as I ask them to do something, they all go to bed. Bunch of slackers. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to let this run for a while to hopefully pick up as much chlorine as possible and get into here. Um, that needs to be set to none. Uh, that needs to be switched off. That needs to be switched off. Okay, we're looking, we're looking good. This circuit that comes down around here is just going to power uh, this filter so that this can run. And then this switch is going to come down here to power the pump. Okay, so the top switch is going to be for pumping the water and cleaning the water to get it into the reservoir. And then the bottom switch is going to be to just run this so that we can run them separately now, which is kind of nice. Okay, we seem to be pretty much done here now. Yeah, we, we're not picking up any more chlorine by the look of it. Okay, sweet. Uh, let's pause that and I'm going to get I'm just going to get rid of everything from here. Uh, so what can I get rid of? Uh, pretty much, I think, everything. Um... Yeah, I can get rid of all of that. And there it all goes. Boom, 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 boom. All gone. And you know what? I can get rid of this as well. So all that's left now is to actually get this running and purify this water. Should we do it? Let's do it. So, <laughs> this is, this is going to be cool if it works. It's going to work. Of course it's going to work. Uh, so, yeah, my power's all good. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is pump this uh, this water, this germy, filthy water, into here and at least convert it from polluted water into clean water. So, that's the top switch. And well, give me the switch. There we go. No, can, give me the switch. Thank you. Okay, turn that on. It's kind of the liquid overview. Oh, come on. They do it to me every time. Every single time I ask them to do something important, they're like, no, we're going to bed. You slackers. Yes, you can well snore away in your beds. All cosy. I don't feel, I don't feel sorry about Noel now. I wish you'd all got little cells like that. No, I don't. No, I don't. I love my tubes. I'm only joking. Right, come over here. Come on. Somebody turn this blooming switch on. Here we go. Alex to the rescue. Boom. And we start pumping polluted, filthy, nasty stuff. But it's not going to get through here because we need some sand. Hooray! Sand delivered. And out comes nice, clean oxygen. Uh, nice, clean water. Except that it's not clean. It's going to be full of germs. Nasty. Look. Hundreds of thousands of germs. But you'll notice that once it gets up around the 200,000, it's not going up anymore. Even though we're, we're still pumping in loads and loads more germs, and it's because the germs are being killed as fast as we can put them in there. You know, I can actually make this a little bit better. If I deconstruct that tile, and I put a just a regular tile in there, Come on, guys, get this built. All right, you nine. Do it. Do it now. Don't you dare go to bed. If you go to bed before you build this. Okay, so it's all been moved. So now I can switch that off. Come on, switch that off. And come on. Thank you. Switch that off. Switch this one on. <laughs> They've done it to me again. Oh, are you going to do it? Oh, thank God. He did it before he went to bed. Good man. Who was that? Who did that? That was Noel. Oh, Noel. I'm, I'll make you a proper bedroom now, please. All right, so let's have a look. 
What's going on? So now we are circulating the water. Now, why am I doing that? Well, we look at this. Um, we've still got a little bit of germs, and it's it's the 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 water that was in these pipe. Well, it's probably in this little bit of pipe here. It doesn't get cleaned by the chlorine, right? And this is the problem with hooking up directly to this liquid valve that you will have one little bit of water in this pipe which doesn't get cleaned. So you have to circulate it until you get rid of all the germs and the problem with this is it's a half-life with these germs so it's slow, like the, the less germs you've got the slower it kills them and come on you can do it Boom, and the last germ is killed. And now, you can see, the water's circulating around, but we've got no germs at all. All right, sweet. So now, what I can do, I can set this to water. And then I can set this flow control to open. And of course, they God, they spend more time sleeping than working, for heaven's sake. Get down here and flip this switch. You know what? <laughs> What I should do is wait until the stuff's in here so that I, I, I'm absolutely sure that everything's perfectly okay. If we, if we look at this. Yeah, all this water is completely clean. So I can now open this valve and then the water is going to flow down here and into here. And then we'll get the proof of the pudding. Is this pure, crystal clear, healthy, drinkable water? What's going on? Oh, because I'm, I'm connected. Oh, because I ripped it out. <laughs> that would explain that, wouldn't it? God, there's always a reason. And the reason is always, I'm an idiot. All right, let's do that. Priority eight. And, God, that was anticlimactic. And here it comes. Here comes the water. The question is, is it clean? Is it clean? Yes, it's 100% germ free. <laughs> Sweet. All right. So, all of the water has been transferred into this reservoir now. So, we can go back to the filter and switch it to anything other than water. Turn off my flow control, because all of the water's in here now. Let this finish emptying. Have we got... Oh, we've got more polluted water up here. Awesome. Have you finished? And there it is. That's all the water emptied. So now what we can do is just uh, turn off that circuit. And turn that circuit on. There we go. And then we can just, we can just leave that running to fill this up. And then all we have to do is, um, is just run it for a few seconds. Circulate it till the germs are dead. And then boom. So there you go. That is our germ-killing pure water system. And then later, once we, uh, like once we get uh, plastics and, uh, and automation researched, then, uh, then we can automate this. Now that's gonna be fun, automating this. Now that we've got our reservoir all done, we can start moving stuff over there. So uh, I'm just gonna tidy this up a little bit. So now we can set this to bring in pure water, or clean water. Okay, this, we can probably bring in a little bit there. And then I want another... Pit. Oh, what I should do, I should enable uh, auto-bottling. And then you'll probably see them... Yeah, now they're going to bring water from there and dump it into here. And then we want this water in here as well. So, last job. Pitcher pump. Pitcher pump goes there. Come on, guys, finish this off. Boom, 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 boom. Couple of those. Bit more digging. Where's Honkle Briff? We need Honkle Briff and his digging skills. Boom, boom. He's <laughs> so quick. And last bit done. All right, sweet. As soon as they've used up this water, they'll switch to bringing it from there. Uh, take a little while. You know, I'm going I'm to wait until that gets done because I think that'll be a great place to end. Well, they just mopped up the last of the water. There it goes, and that's it. All of our water is transferred to our main reservoir. Um, that's taken a few cycles. I've had them uh, digging this in and putting in a nice, a nice thermal barrier so we don't get too uh, too hot over here. Well, I, I've got to say, 
I'm really pleased with how that's worked out. I can uh, now turn on our bottler. Hooray! Okay. And we can look forward to the next lot of polluted water that we can feed through. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. This opens up... I, the, the reason I wanted to do this, this opens up some really nice opportunities. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be dealing with carbon dioxide. We can start putting in uh, like automated power systems. Oh, the sky's the limit. Guys, you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, check out that link in the video description. 33% off the game. All the info you could want. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.